I'm head of a department that is focused on helping patients and families through the whole entire course of cancer. Much of cancer treatment is focused on the cancer itself, whereas the staff in our department are focused on the person and the family with cancer, helping them manage the whole trajectory of the disease. Well, I think being able to do something very tangible like that, that um, helps a woman recover her sense of her own identity, you know, it can have an enormous benefit on a sense of well-being and comfort with oneself and comfort in the world. It takes one thing off the table at a time when there's so many other fears that a woman might be facing. I think it's easy for us to forget how much of our identity is related to our physical appearance, to the way we look, to ourselves, to other people. And um, things like hair and bodily appearance can sometimes be a very powerful, important aspect of this. Cancer affects these at a time when uh, a woman might be feeling very vulnerable in many other ways at the same time. I think the public actually understands this sometimes better than the medical community, that cancer care has to uh, address the well-being and the quality of life of people that are affected. Sometimes the medical community is very focused just on the cancer. Of course, that's extremely important. But I think the public needs to be aware, and often is aware, that it's the person, their identity, their body image, their sense of well-being that's equally important.